you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 4th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 16 verses 19 to 31 There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day and at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus covered with the sores who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table even the dogs would come and lick his sores the poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham The rich man also died and was buried in Hades where he was being tormented he looked up and saw Abraham far away from it, Lazarus by his side he called out father Abraham have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for i am in agony in these flames but Abraham said child remember that During your lifetime, you received your good things and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here and you are in agony. Besides, all this between you and us, a great chasm has been fixed so that those who might want to pass from here to you cannot do so and no one can cross from there to us. He said, then father, I beg you to send him to my father's house for i have five brothers that he may warn them so that they will not also come into this place of torment abraham replied they have moses and the prophets they should listen to them he said no father abraham but if someone goes to them from the dead they will repent he said to him if they do not listen to moses and the prophets neither will they be convinced even if someone raises from the dead the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends here we have illustrated in parable from two of luke's beatitudes happy are you who are poor you who are hungry now and o to you who are rich who are filled now the links with the first reading are also obvious on the one hand you have a rich man dressed in purple and fine linen both signs of great wealth he also has a good table and enjoys the choicest of foods every day at the same time you have a poor man called Lazarus he was hungry and longed like the dogs to pick up the scraps scraps with might fall from the dining table the dogs even licked his sores dogs were apparent to use so this was a particularly degrading thing to happen what is striking about this scene is that uh, nothing seems to be happening this rich man is eating the poor man is sitting and waiting there are no words between them the poor man is not abused or chased away he is simply ignored as if he did not exist as often as you neglected to do it to the least of these brothers of mine you neglected to do it to me then both men die lazarus is brought by angels to the bosom of abraham the rich man is condemned to an existence of great suffering in hades the place of death the rich man now begs for even the slightest relief from the man he ignored in his lifetime but it is now too late the rich man had his chance and he blew it he had his life of good things he now knows just how good they really were it is now lazarus turn to have the really good things the companionship of his god the rich man begs on behalf of his brothers that they may be warned they have moses and the prophets replace abraham surely a reference to jesus himself and to the many jews who refused to believe in him even after his resurrection there are people today who want some special signs from god in order to believe we have good news of the new testament and the living 
experience the presence of Jesus among us. We do not need anymore. We have all the guidance we need to lead the kind of life which will ensure we spend our future existence in the company of Lazarus. And that life is measured not by birth, status or power, but in a life of caring and a sharing relationship. In a world of extreme consumerism, hedonism and individualism, today's reading have a very important message. Those are truly rich who enrich the lives of others. Amen. May God bless.